Hello everybody, Tiff here again with another Modded Brotate run and today I'm gonna be doing a run with the craziest busted character in my opinion, the priest who transforms healing into damage. Now what does he do? He gets HP regen for every two elemental damage you have so we're gonna invest into elemental damage and have some chance to deal four times your elemental damage to a random enemy when you heal. So we want to have a lot of max HP, so we have a lot of wiggle room of getting hit and healing it back up. Now for weapon of choice, there are a lot of weapons here that I locked into and they looked awesome. Like this one, which has every 30 seconds spawn a tree. I want to do a run with this. Or when you crit, you drop a consumable. This could really help with the consumable item combo piece. But the actual two main weapons are either this, the ghost book, which is every 50 enemies give you an elemental damage. I don't know why every 50. I think the dev decided that it's too busted, as if that's even a thing in Brotato, but whatever. Uh, or heal staff, which is what I'm going to actually go for. So Heal a player. First of all, this gets damage based on your HP region, which is awesome design-wise. And this does heal a player for 10% of your elemental damage on attack and create a magical circle that can cause continuous damage. But the downside is that you lose 3 armor. Now, the downside might not be really that bad. We are in the dark stage, dark times. It is what it is. So, uh, yeah, the, the downside of losing armor might... Uh, although it's bad, it might not be that much because the idea is you get hit once, you lose a lot of life, and then uh, you start healing that life back up. As you see, I don't care by a total being low life. And uh, yeah, I mean, the starting downsides of this character, which I didn't mention, is that he cannot get lifesteal, really. Let's get uh, let's get armor. He can't really get lifesteal because he starts with minus 100. And then he also starts with minus, what, minus 2 armor and minus 10 speed, which we need to fix. Let's, uh, I, I want this, but I'm going to try to roll into weapons. Toxic Snake, I also want that, but I'm going to try into weapons. Here we go, healing staff 2. And roll for one more healing staff. Didn't appear. Didn't appear. You know what? Here it is, appeared. So we're ready for the next shot, pretty much. So all of these are going to start making us lose a lot of armor very fast. That means the early game is going to be really dangerous. We will need to find as much max HP as possible, as fast as possible. I would say about 50 to 100 max HP is borderline a must because I know for a fact that even if you have 20 armor, you get hit for 15. So that means if I have minus 20 armor, I'm going to be getting hit for 50 <laughs> instead of 15. So the difference is pretty sizable with the lack of armor. We're about to die here. And we didn't die. That was lucky. 42 and 12. Very low amount of money here. All these away. Let's get luck. Buy one more staff. And I still cannot buy these two. I want to roll for another staff. Didn't appear. Wow, that was such, such, such a bad shopping uh, experience over there. <laughs> but it is what it is. We're going to start making money in a moment. That is how it always goes. And as I said, I don't want to ever be max life. Because I need to heal when I attack. So that random opponents all over the map get hit and we um, yeah we increase our dps and our money income through this way which is a very dangerous way of playing when you have 13 life but when you have a lot more it's not gonna be anymore so this guy is one of those hard to play early game but very busted late game and we're going for the late game that is our idea 47 7 4 coins max hp enemy health and poison i'm gonna say yes to this eight percent enemy health is almost nothing if you think about this if an opponent has 100 health it's just eight more it's not it's not that much five luck I'm gonna buy the poison, I'm gonna buy the radiance, roll them. I'm gonna buy this because we're gonna heal very fast. I would say yes on more damage and less range. And actually, I don't need this right now. I would prefer getting actual items that we want. I have one life, but we're gonna heal very, very fast. Five, boom, eight. And we should be full at this point already. Yeah, we already have fully healed. So this is literally how this is gonna go. Now, range shots, I should definitely always take when I see them. I should always, always tank rain shots because rain shots almost do half the damage of melee shots. Yeah, as you saw, my rain shots there get hit us for eight. Get hit on purpose. Seven. What? That we were hit for eight. Eh, whatever, it doesn't matter. Yeah, actually, that's the rain shot nerf, as I said. We or you always take this damage from rain shots. I'm, I'm trying to go in close to the tree to maybe hit it, but it's pretty hard. <laughs> we need to find the flannel shirt to start healing and to start breaking these. Three armor, let's go. That was very lucky. Two elemental damage against ten luck. I'm gonna say ten luck. Although elemental damage is the play. Let's go here, roll him. He, yep, look at this. Two armor. So the more we level these up, the less armor we lose. Maybe I should combine both of these and actually get rid of all the downsides of having all those minus armor pieces. I could combine these and these and then we would have two weapons. But if I have two weapons, then the issue is that we will not attack fast enough. Right? So on the one hand, we lose armor. On the other hand, we don't we don't heal fast. So what is the actual choice? I heal I I, I think healing fast is the actual choice. Because if I, how much am I healing right now per staff? One. So the moment I get 10 armor, 10, 10 elemental damage, we will start healing for two per smack. And then it's going to be faster and faster and faster how fast we heal up everything we lose. The only downside here is that I need to get hit once and not twice. 
which is the hardest part of this because you most of the time get hit by opponents being close to you and opponents are close to next opponent to other opponents so when one opponent hits you 10 opponents hit you 144 coins very nice uh, nine speed time to fix that issue I'm gonna buy both of these and elemental damage, yes, and poison again, yes, 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 and another one stuff. So we start for every from here on out, every single staff we find is going to increase our armor. 50% more damage taken is what we're about to go into. What is this? Play electric. I mean, I want to also do elemental electric build. I want to do so many builds. This this mod is just so good, man. Just so good. Did I just got hit for 11? If these opponents hit us for 11, then I don't even want to get hit randomly this turn at all. We need to fix our armor issue. We need to no longer be taking a million damage. Uh, maybe, maybe if projectiles here. Proje 12 damage. Okay, we, we can easily get two tapped here. So definitely, definitely avoid uh, using my passive for this round. Oh no. Oh no. Come on. Come on. Yes, I got a chest. Very nice. We got our first chest. Actually, I got two chests, I think. Which is even better than what I thought. And we should definitely, definitely try to play around with these circles. I should always try to be close to my circles, like set up a, a ground, a holy ground, so to speak, as I am a holy man. Recycling machine, yes. Elemental damage and lose speed. Uh, I'm gonna say, yeah, I don't wanna lose speed though. But still elemental damage, so yes. Dodge, not really. I don't want dodge because dodge makes it so it's a bit of a risky maneuver. It's got six movement speed. Uh, as I said, yeah, yes, nine max life. Perfect, nine max life is perfect. We want as much max life as possible. One shot trees, yes. Remove one armor, nice. And now we're at 14. Combine these. Boom. Now we're at 13. Wait, what? Yeah, I wasn't... What? I was 14, I, I went down to 12. Yeah, because I had two of them combined. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, I'm, I'm correct. So two two of the threes became twos. A uh, single two. Black Rose Bow, not really. What does this do? 100% chance to apply poison. Awesome, awesome. Can look stack up three times. I want to really play that too. Healing one, boom. Down to 11. Great chance. I don't care about the max life against damage. Definitely, yes. Range and attack speed is also definitely yes. Lifesteal is irrelevant. Uh, this is useless for us. This is also useless. Yeah, well, let's go. Okay, so if we got 36 life, man, this this is the run. This is the run. This is not the first time I'm trying this, by the way. This character is hard to handle when you get hit for 50,000 damage here. So there's that. I definitely need to make sure the eggs don't hatch because if the eggs hatch, we are toast, man. Because those guys take a while to die. From here on out, I think I can definitely dip a bit into opponents. So we start healing. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. It's starting. It's starting. The madness is starting. And as you see, the moment I lose life, opponents just disappear from the map very fast and very often. And then I need to go ahead and get hit again. So those opponents start uh, dying again, right? It's a given, 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 receive, receive and give. I don't know. <laughs> Let's run around with the priest poisoning opponents. The poison is also really good and helpful because that's a secondary way of us doing damage, which I really much enjoyed. 120 my coins. Range damage, no percentage based damage. I'm gonna say no to that either. Let's go to armor. <clears throat> we need to fix our very bad downsides. Let's get more armor and attacks in range. And more enemies and more elemental damage against dodge, yes. And also this, yeah, why not? None of these. Let's get a scar. My range is in the positives. Nice. And we have seven armor. We're, we're fixing our armor. We are fixing our armor. We already have 40 life, by the way. How much do you do? 15 damage. Okay, but we healed instantly. If I can get to zero armor, that would be nice. Obviously, always percentage base increases are always more dangerous than percentage base decreases. Especially in games where the opponents are made in a way. I mean, the balance is made in a way where you're supposed to have armor. So, for example, the game calculates that, oh, we want you to get damaged for 20 damage at wave 20. Well, um, that means that we should, well, normally you should have 80% damage reduction, and therefore the opponent's gonna do 100 damage, so after your 80% damage reduction, you will get hit for 20. That's a normal way. But if I have negative armor, well, that 100 damage becomes, you know, 180 damage, or 150 damage, based on how negative armor I have, and that's gonna one-shot us. So the difference is, like, huge between having positive and negatives. So, yeah, and in the same vein, if I have 100 life, I will die in five hits on the other slave of the gun. I will just instantly die. This is guaranteed purple, so I'm gonna say we either go with attack speed because that's healing, or we go with elemental uh, HP. Yeah, elemental, which is gonna give us uh, three elemental damage is the other choice. I'm already at ten. I think I'm gonna go 15% attack speed or HP regen. Nice. We're gonna take that. It's a simple solution. Let's take that. It's a bit less range. Thus. That's piercing no armor and dodge against max life. Yes, armor is important. Here we go. Tonkela. This here is pretty much a gamble play. 
This is... We gain 198 harvesting. So 198 coins next round. Right? For 45 this round. And we cannot pretty much do damage. I'm going to take this, obviously. And we're also going to take this. We're not a melee build. So we can take that. Ooh, let's go. Let's go. We're, we're starting to fix our armor issues. Hopefully, we're going to survive this. 21% of this. I mean, I'm doing 74% of this damage. So, whoa. We destroyed these. I'm not even seeing the less damage aspect. Woo. Easy life. Easy life. Oh, this is wave 9. Wow, I decided that wave 9 to actually do less damage. That was not a good idea. And if wave 9, most of the time you get like 500 plus coins. So if I don't get that many coins this wave, that was going to be... It's, it's going to be a big fail. In general, I believe wave 9 is by far the best wave in the game. Uh, also, I believe that... Something that I'm not doing here. I should really stick to my circles that we create on the ground. I shouldn't really be running around like crazy for no reason. We should just try to stick close to my zone. If anything, this 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 weapon should be really good at being a corner play weapon, right? Because all the circles are set up. No, 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 no. <laughs> we need to run away and loop around the opponents. And continue hitting. Oh, no, 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 no. Pane, pane, pane. Heal, heal, heal. Okay, we're back to full life. Obviously, when we heal, everything on the screen dies. So that's like the trick here. That, yes, there is a panic moment. But the second everything on the screen, uh, we start healing, everything dies. 681 coins. God, run. I don't want 12 dodge. Uh, actually, I do want dodge. Whatever. Range damage, elemental damage. 2 nice. 9 dodge, 10 luck. I'm going to say 10 luck. 12, 9 dodge. Harvest, no. HP region, I would say. Yes. Thunder Jade. Get elemental damage, which is good. Lose 1 max HP. Yeah, this is worth it. And this is 2, two elemental damage and 1 HP region, right? This is, is what this is. Apply electric to frozen enemies. Yeah, okay, whatever. I still get the HP region. So I obviously want that, and I also want max life. So let's combine. What does that give us? That gives us one armor from two, one armor, nice. And we already start healing two per hit, by the way. And this now also does... Wait, what? Uh, look at this, elemental... So the rare stuff does 40% elemental damage, 40% HP region damage. The rare st the legend, the epic stuff gives you 50% elemental damage, 30% HP region damage. So <laughs> it loses aspect of itself, which is weird. Piercing 15, piercing 25. <laughs> okay, anyway, we're gonna buy this and this. So my armor is still at minus 3. Roll them away. Now heal stuff, boom, armor is at minus 2. Uh, deal damage based on material pickup. Yeah, why not? What is this? On kill, gain 3 rapid, reduce temper speed. Ooh, elemental wind. And 3. Precise, yeah. Engineering, who cares? Harvesting against melee, definitely yes. Get a bit of range, of course. Do I want this? Might as well, it's cheap. Repost, that's useless. Might as well. Ah, uh, no, that's useless. HP region is like, yes. More trees, yes. Is there any chance this is an explosion attack? So explosion size would make the circle bigger? I'm gonna try to do that. HP region, for sure. To it, I don't care about it that much. I mean, I don't care about it at all. Yeah, I don't care about it. Corporate contract. Get attack speed. Yeah, that's that's already enough. 10% <laughs> attack speed, I take it. What is this? Harvesting and pickup range, but lose dodge. Mm, I'm just gonna say yes. And has any chance to freeze? Nice, there is a freeze item in the game too. Holy stuff, again, I'm gonna buy that. So my armor right now is minus two. By combining and buying, it's still minus two. Nice, nice, nice. Healing stuff again. So we are at minus one. Max HP against damage for sure. And yeah, I think we're good to go. With only minus one armor, we are good. We are fixing all the downsides we have. The build is an actual go. And now, now we run into opponents trying to get hit on purpose. Now we try to get hit, man. Because we are healing extremely fast. Like the, the, one, the staff themselves heal us 2 per hit. At some points they're gonna start healing us 3 per hit, 4 per hit, 5 per hit, etc, etc. We're just gonna become more and more powerful the more this goes on. I would like to get explosion size to actually see if these rings are explosions. Or, or at least are supposed to be considered explosion size weapons. I don't know. Maybe there should be a general size item. Yeah, I don't know why that is not a thing. There should be a general size tag, not just explosion size. Bullets can become bigger, swords can become bigger, melee weapons can become bigger, any anything can become bigger, right? It's it's a swing weapon anyway, right? So if, if I had, for example, a spear, why wouldn't the spear be like a huge line of attack that just pierces the whole universe? Why does it have to be always the same size and only range is the thing? Whoa, we got almost died there. Uh, we, we will pick that up, who cares about dodge? Six speed. I literally invested so many levels on that. I guess 6 speed is the play. Elemental bow. A bunch of burning damage. I love that. 1 elemental damage against harvesting is a yes. 2 elemental damage against range is also a yes. Another staff. We buy that right away. A bunch of luck and dodge for no downside. 
Two harvesting and one elemental damage at the end of each wave. Godlike galaxy orb. One elemental damage at the end of each wave. Love it. Love it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get explosion size and see if they look bigger. I'm going to sacrifice luck for stats that I care about. I'm also going to get max HP for sure. Once again, I don't really care about the other one. Let's also buy this. Boom. My At this point, I have actually positive armor. This is two lifesteal, which I want. And this is irrelevant. I mean, 60 coins for six damage. I don't think so. No, let's go. Elite stage. Are we going to be able to beat this? I mean, the poison definitely helps, is what I have to say. I just got hit for 15. So we need to pay attention. As always, the worst possible wave to get in elite stage it could not be worse than this. The classic case of... What is it called? Uh, the, the first mummy stage. And this elite here just stays there always, so you don't need to chase him down. Just avoid what he is doing. If you're a melee build, you pretty much are screwed, but... If you're not a melee... No, 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 no. I, I thought we were in panic state there. I tried to pull him in into the circles, by the way. By going away, he comes closer. We're dying. Come on, go down. Come on, man, go down. And we got him. Very nice. Boss is toast. And now we're gonna run around picking up all the scrap. Now, legendary chest. Let's hope... Oh, by the way, in, in my mod, we made it the dev, or I guess one of the two devs, made it so that my legendary item has become better for in my mod specifically and unless you know at some point the official brotato dev changes it but i don't think that's gonna happen so yeah let's go let's see what we find some percent damage from max hp mm, this is risky but i'm gonna take it yes yes we got the best possible item for this character wow medkit crazy hp regen and then also hp regen every five seconds while staying alive lose luck it's okay for hp regen i would like to get more luck I mean, not that little. Yeah, let's go to elemental. 12 harvesting, 6 movement speed. No. Let's get 5 luck. It's low, but 4 elemental damage. Let's go. And now it's on Kela. I'm gonna buy this. I still believe this is a very good thing. It's pretty much money, right? You you get value out of that. Uh, I'm gonna get 3 damage for 18. It's okay. Like 25% XP, but to lose 8 luck. I don't think so. No. Blood addition, yes, yes, we found the best item for us. So we're going to be taking one damage per second, but we will pretty much have our passive always being able to hit, and it's going to pay for itself instantly. Dice wand. Every attack will change between minus 49 and 101. Bonus by luck. Woo! I love this as an idea. I want to do that. Community support. Yes, crazy attacks, but if too many opponents are on the map, that's actually really good for us. Speed against range. Speed against range. What's my range? Super positive. We buy that then. Two max HP for every three elemental damage. Yes! <laughs> this is really good! Man, so many really good items today. So many really good items. Let's combine this. Wait a minute, so my armor is at minus one. Combine these and buy this. Now we are at minus three. Nice! What does the legendary get? The legendary gets... The legendary gets... What? So the rare is 4D elemental, 4D region. This is 50 elemental, 3D region, and this is 50 elemental, 4D region. So for some reason, there is a transition there. I guess most of the time you do have more elemental damage than region damage, but I, I don't know why they did this transition weird thing. Maybe it would have been too busted, I don't know. Still minus one armor though. Still minus one armor. Okay, that's not good. Uh, I will take this by the way, and let's go. It's not good that we maintain the minus one armor on the legendary. I was under the assumption that on the legendaries, by the way, this is the Tonkela wave, so... Panic, panic. No, we're good. We got them. We got them, and now we're gonna get 200 coins just because of that purchase. Man, that's so cool. Like, bait is... You get 6% damage forever, but the next wave is gonna be a bit harder. The Tonkela is you get 200 coins if you survive the next wave, but it's gonna be a bit harder. So I, I love that so much. The Tonkela idea is so, so, so good. I, I just straight up love it, how the dev... Uh, of this mod, of the elemental mod, because that's from there. This thought about the fact that Donkela is an item that you just invest into. Which, by the way, doesn't work with inflation, right? If you have inflation and Donkela costs 200, then you don't want to buy it. But but if there is no inflation, then it's actually really good, right? Because you invest 40 to get 150, uh, 200. So I, I love it, I love it. I straight up love the, the design of it. The design that they used harvesting to give you at the end of the next wave money. You know, they could have avoided it. At the end of the next wave, you get 200 coins, but no, it's it's harvesting. Engineering, no, we don't care about that. Real mental damage is the choice, obviously. Uh, heal staff purple, I'm gonna say yes. Armor, etc. yes, let's range, yes. Uh, boo armor, I love this so much. Armor and the harvesting at the edge of each wave, so cool, so cool. I'm gonna buy one more of these. Range damage for each elemental damage you have. This is useless for us. We don't do elemental damage, but the design, of course, is really good. Like against HP region, literally against what we are standing for, but yes. Yes on that. Piggy bank. Might as well buy it to never find it again. I'm not going to use it. Demon contract. 
lose half your max HP and gain elemental damage for every three max HP lost. So this is 10 elemental damage right now. If I buy this, do I want 10 elemental damage? I mean, yes, but no. Does that make sense? Yeah, this is a very yes, but no moment. I, I, I don't think this is a good idea. I think this is going to make us lose most of the time because we need, yeah, we need wiggle room to be able to heal. Let's, let's buy this for sure. Everybody lose slower. Let's lock that down. Snake whistle, no. Man, the, the, the demon contract, I, I love as an idea, as I said, but it's it's too dangerous. How much damage do I take? I want to see how much damage I take, and then maybe I will be like, oh no, I made a mistake. 15 damage. Yeah, that, I, I did the correct decision. Because 15 damage means from 40 life, within 3 hits, I'm dead. And I, I do not want to risk that. I don't want to die in three hits. I, I want to have the wiggle room of being able to get hit 10 times. I mean, definitely not 10 times. We don't have that wiggle room. But as you see, we definitely need to be able to heal. So, uh, not heal. Be able to lose life. So that we can heal. And I'm trying to run through everything here as possible. As you see, the dodges are actually an issue. A hindrance, a hindrance and not a help. Because I cannot lose life because of it. Now, the other hand of that, obviously, if I get super duper surrounded and I'm in a state of panic, then obviously evasion is going to help us. That's the thing with evasion. Evasion is, for this character that is, evasion is really bad when I'm full life, but it's really, really, really good when I'm low life, right? If I have 10 life, evasion is what I want. Let's go take. Definitely take. Let's go 10 luck. Let's go 3 elemental damage. Let's get a heal staff. Very nice. Continue with the purples. Max HP and HP region. Lose stats we don't care about. Definitely yes. Dice one, no. Elemental damage against max HP, yes. HP is like, yes. Fix the armor, yes. Lose a bit of life for damage. I'm gonna say yes. Elemental damage to yes. Really, really good. Hey, Wander Bot. Let's buy that. And let's also buy Wandering Bot. Wander Bots. Awesome guy. Let's go here. I mean, it's not like I'm talking with him, so... <laughs> He's a guy. <laughs> that's that's more real. <laughs> that, that's my actual uh, opinion. Let's go. He's a person. That's my real opinion. Wander Bots is a person. Whoop. But Sift, isn't Waterbots a bot? Is it not in the name? We defeated the lead extremely fast. At this point, we are very powerful. At this point, the thing I mentioned is the fact with this guy has started happening, which is that we do the highest damage, man. This, this is almost more powerful than the lucky guy, right? The lucky guy says every time you pick up material, something explodes. Well, this guy's every time you heal, something explodes. And you can heal very easily. So you just everything explodes all the time. Love it. Love it. Love it. What a cool guy. What a, what an awesome character. I'm going to think about going into Endless or not based on how are this going to be. In general, I think Endless, although although I enjoy it, I think it's just more of the same. The main reason why I would like to go Endless is because scaling. I don't know. Comment down below and tell me. I think we're not going to go Endless. Let's see what we got. Mail damage. Elemental. Ooh, 10 elemental damage. Let's go. We take that for sure. Arm engineering against max HP. Not really. I'm going to buy this. Rasputin's book. Get elemental damage. And summon something. Exploding dead damage limit one summon and you can... You know what? I want the elemental damage, but I don't want to summon things. So let's throw it away. Let's get to armor for sure. Turret. Healing staff. Let's also buy a tentacle. Why not? And our galaxy orb. Let's go. Ice armor. Get armor and then you get hit. Freeze opponents. Really good for us because we're getting hit on purpose. Yes on the ring. Yes on this. Yes on the pickup. Yes on that. Very nice. Roll for zero. Poison mark 10. Lose max life, which is bad. Get the percentage. Okay. When applying poison on a burning enemy, we don't burn opponents really, so that's useless for us. Healing staff. Let's buy those and buy this. And that's it. Let's go. Let's go. I'm almost ready to have everything ready. We're so close to having everything. I got hit for 12 damage. 12 damage is nothing. It's a joke for us. So from here on out, we want to be running onto opponents. From here on out, we want to be playing into our strengths. So let's just do that. Play into our strengths, that is. Here we go. Money, 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 and tree. Man, what a busted character. Man, what a busted weapon. Man, what a busted mod. I mean, busted. The mod is just straight up fun, man. This is so much more unique and so much more cool than the base game. I love it. I don't know if this always happens. How does this always happen where mods have like the most fun and weird ideas and the main game is just almost vanilla? I mean, they literally call it vanilla. <laughs> when when there are games that literally have only are playable with mods, like Risk of Rain, for example, which everybody plays with mods, that game, if you play it without mods, then you're playing vanilla. <laughs> uh, Project Let's Pierce through additional target. Not really. 
Roll them. 12 dodge, 12 max HP. I'm going to say max HP, of course. Holy heart, 10 HP region. I buy this on the spot. Bait, yes. Uh, engineering? No, that's useless. Engineering for every damage. Actually, this is not useful. We're buying this. And it's not useless because now this thing heals us for 5. Nice. Mental damage, useless. Elemental damage and healing heals you. Uh, does damage around you. Whatever. Really good. There's crit chance. What's my crit chance? Zero. My crit chance is zero. 11%. I have lied. 11% is my crit chance. So, I don't want to buy this for the movement speed. Let's roll away. Crit chance, elemental damage, definitely yes. Damage and lifesteal, useless, lose engineering. Honestly, no. I guess for the percentage piece damage. Battle mage, one armor for every four elemental. I buy this. So many things that say, oh, I lost elemental there. Dodge, yes, dodge heals you. And another one, definitely yes to combine. Third degrade, uh, useless, completely useless for us. But see, if third degrade is busted, yeah, not if you have, but no. For anybody that thought even for half a second that third degrade is useful, Please remember that we're losing one life per second, right? Because we have the harvesting thing. I have the mod which I can throw them away, by the way. I do have the mod which says you can sell your items so I can get rid of the self-damage every start of round. But do I care about that? I don't think so. If anything, we want to get hit anyway because that is the build. So Tardigrade doesn't even fit. And honestly, I would like to go into Endless now that I'm thinking about this. The reason being that I want to see what this will look like at... Uh, high health opponents like when I get hit for 50 will I be able to be and full life instantly is this gonna be that crazy while wow, we froze like 50 enemies there you should not be attacking us we haven't gotten a single rainbow chest mod yet but honestly that's the way I want it maybe 5% is a bit too low but I do enjoy the idea of the rainbow chest mod is something that appears once every blue moon and uh, yeah I mean once again rainbow mod has also other things inside of it like these stats over here that are shown that's from the rainbow damage totem yeah I'm gonna take that set up a totem uh, one time per wave because this is buggy, I think. It says every 8 seconds, but that's just not happening. That buffed my damage, yes. Tonke La, a bunch of money next wave, yes. Speed against range. Mm, I'm gonna say yes. My range is a bit negative, though. More enemies, yes. Guaranteed purple. I'm gonna go for the good old 4 armor. 20 luck. <laughs> I think 4 armor is the play. Let's get 4 armor. Alien, yeah, we got a bunch of life enemies. Move faster, definite. Yes, yes, yes on those. Enemies move even faster, we get a range of poison. Yes, we are poison build anyway, and we take more damage, and we get more XP. Frost Storm. I want this, man. I want this. Has crazy, crazy attack speed, and then has a cooldown. I like that as an idea. Lose dodge to gain these stats. Honestly, not really. Armor, yes. Target degree is useless. Lose harvesting. I don't know. Max HP enemies have more health. Yes, max HP, yes. And we got full legendary staffs. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm so ready. Luck. Attack speed increase. Yeah, not really. Let's go. The build is a go. The build is a go. And at this point, we pretty much are completely busted. I think I cannot move if I want to. Let's see what happens if I don't move. Let's see what happens if I don't move. We're going to be chilling here in the middle. We're going to just amass XP. And then we're going to be running around picking them up. Now, I would like to get a rainbow chest just because I want to showcase my new legendary sift item. Because it's very much representative as to what I would like it to be. And the, the item did not become completely busted. It just became actually unique and it actually has value. So if that is what it would have been in the normal game, you would really, I would really love it a lot more. I'm not sure if the dev is going to ever do that change, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> First, let's wait if we then see if I will ever get a rainbow chest. And then we're going to see right now the rainbow chest chance is 10% because it does get affected by luck. And I have 100 plus luck. So that means from 5%, it's up to 10% through the fact of <clears throat> having high luck. And uh, let's see what's going to happen. Nice, we survived. 400 coins plus, and we got more levels. The Peacock didn't even do that much. 60% damage, I would say yes. 8% melee damage, no. <laughs> 2 melee, 20 luck for sure. Flame Bow Legendary, crazy. Wow! 155 damage times 5. This is insane! This is insane damage, man. This is insane damage, I love it. Piercing damage can't go below. Let's take this because this has piercing 3D. As if that even matters. Heal totem. Yes. We will start cheaper. Yes. More luck. Yes. This is unique. I'm gonna buy it to never see it again. Let's go toxic. Yes on that. No, no, no on the harvesting. I mean, I could go yes on this. Let's also have explosions. Why not? Elemental damage and luck. Let's go. Crit chance against damage. Yes. Opponents move slower when they get hit. Definitely yes. Because we're hitting everything all the time. Elemental damage against movement speed. Not for one. Not for one. And let's go. 3% movement speed for one elemental damage isn't really that worth it. I'm just sitting here and chilling. Hey boss, how's it going? Boss is on top of us. Look at our healing. Look at our healing. We are outpacing you, man. We are outpacing everything. 
I love it. We are busted. I love it. I love it. I'm so much in love with this. I need to get more of those uh, when you... More, more of those lose life per second items. For sure. For sure. I want to get five or six more blood donations. Can I get five or six more blood donations? That would be lovely. I would like to lose 10 life per second if possible. Because I definitely heal more than 10 life per second. Especially with the healing totem and whatnot in the middle. So that, that's definitely a choice there. Which would... Yeah, we found the first rainbow chest. Let's go. Which I will invest into my own item first. And then we will buy anything else. Because that's, in my opinion, the thing I should always do. It's my mod. I should get my item first. Especially now that it's remade in my image. <laughs> I mean my image in what I would like it to be. So let me showcase what this looks like. First of all, 20% dodge and 5 life. So this is not that useful for us. I don't want the dodge. Forget this. And now look at my new item. Are you ready for it? Are you ready? By the way, this is really good. Heart of Steel. Because it gives you life and then more max life based on how much life. And this is this is in general really, 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 really good as a scaling item. But here it is. Sith's Relic. Hampton chance to instantly attract materials when it's dropped. 5,000% pickup range. So that means it picks up everything all the time. Items, drops, chest, everything. And then 25% materials drop from enemies. So this, this part here, this aspect here is unique to my Relic. No other item has this aspect. So I'm going to take this. And I'm super happy about it because now, uh, let's go with elemental. Now it actually does something. Let's go with this. I don't care about this. We will go with, actually, no, five blocks. Who cares? Against, uh, this is a yes, though. 25% XP gain is yes. Max life, yes. Materials, yes. We found Retromation Sweetie for 60% attack speed. Lose all our range pretty much. But, I mean, Retromation Sweetie is a really, really good item. A really, really good item. And it's also worth it. Demonic Contract. Lose life, gain elemental. Mm, once again, too risky. I'm thinking when I could buy this, but I think it's still too risky. Oh, this is actually only you lose 60 life. Oh, I'm going to take this. This is 60 life. I'm going to still have 100 plus. I'm buying that. So now we got 101 HP region, 9 HP per second. Mark 10. Makes opponents lose. Uh, when poison stack up to maximum limit, you'll turn some full poison damage and clear that. Yes, 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 yes. And enemies move slower. I love it as the design. This is useless now. We have all the range. As you see, pickup range is 5050. I love it. Pull them away. Triangle of power. That's the most useless item for us. Speed and dodge, but lose some defensive stats. Not re... I'm gonna buy this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's go here. I don't have range right now, but we can fix that in a moment. So, wait a minute. I don't have range. We are attacking opponents from very far away. Still. Was that the red? What was that? I thought it was like a red... Oh, no. <laughs> I forgot how the game plays. Yes, correct, correct. Let's continue smacking everything. Now here, I can say from the options in other gameplay, from the options in rainbow settings, that all these attract pickups, no. And this way, pickups will only get attracted when I'm actually missing life, which obviously is a bit better, because right now I have a global pickup range, right? So only when I'm missing life, pickups will be attracted, which doesn't really mean anything, because I'm always missing life, so I will always attract pickups. Yeah, nothing really changed. So might as well have this also active. For well, the reason being that I don't want to forget this in a future run and <laughs> deactivate it. So there is that, I guess. I don't think I will even need to move at the boss stage, which might sound a bit too flexy, or maybe we will pay for it with our life. But I don't know. We're gonna see. I do really enjoy that. We got my new relic. Let's go. Look at this. We have a circle of death around us. Doing 190 damage. 191 damage. Seems like it also scales a bit. Now, also things like Grind's Leaf would be really good. Max Alien, yes. Damage against range, um, yes. Speed against range, no, I have enough speed. Lose speed for defensive stats, yes. St I would like to get range, so I get my range back. 20 leg is good and all, but I want to get my range back, so let's get 60 range here. 60 range, please. 60 range, please. Here we go, boom. Not a good choice in general, but I wanted it. 6 dodge, no, let's go 3 HP regen. Grand Sleeve is here! Wow! Ask where then shall receive. When a player HP becomes 0, protect from death and heal. We're gonna buy that. Healing totem, yes. I think we're gonna go into Endless. Let's go here, yes. In Max Life, yes. None of these, to be honest. Healing Staff, no. Less range and more damage, yes. Once again, my damage is at 83%. Repost. When I dodge, I do damage. Pretty useless. Yeah, why would I take that? Darkness Goat, 983. This <laughs> crazy powerful staff, man. Crazy powerful stuff. Olim to Elemental is a yes. No, I don't want that. Attack speed or low life. No explosion size. Well, HP regen and also minions recover health. And also minions have more health. Definitely, yes. That makes our totems better, by the way. That makes our... Yeah, that's make, that, that makes our totems better. There is no better explanation than that. Let's not move and see if we survive this. Because I would really like to see if I can survive this. Okay, my totems are here. 
Look at this. We destroyed them. We deleted them. Nothing can survive. Well, I mean, we can survive. But nothing, nothing can out-DPS us. We definitely need to go into Endless. We need to get to a point where opponents do too much damage for us to survive. This is the play. Of course, in Endless, we will do what I always do. We're not going to make this video last five years. We're going to make the waves last half as long. So that we burst, burst through Endless. And we're going to double the amount of opponents that appear. Because in case you don't know, in Brotato, opponents appear always less... Uh, yeah, opponents start appearing more and more throughout the wave. So if you only reduce the duration of the wave to half, then you also reduce, you pretty much remove most of the opponents you would have normally fought because the second half of a wave always has more opponents. So we're going to actually double the opponents while also double hal halving the duration of the wave. I think that is a fair assessment. Double legendary, let's see what we get. Cloaking. Uh, opponents do more damage, but every 9 seconds you dodge a hit. I, I, I don't think so. I, I want to not get bursted down, so this is literally me getting bursted down. Defensive stats, but lose 2 HP region pretty much. Obviously, we take this. Yes, we got Heart of Steel Insane. 8 max life, 2 HP region, 5 attack speed, 25% damage, and every 15 seconds, a random melee weapon, which we don't have, uh, will be charged. Its next attack causes more damage by this amount and gain the max touch, blah, 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 blah. We don't... We, this effect here is not going to happen, so it's not as crazy as I thought it was going to be. I'm going to still take it for the first three aspects. 25% damage is like, who cares? 50% attack speed. I'm going to definitely say yes to attack speed. Let's buy this. Roll them. Panda, nice. Max life and uh, luck. Max life is what I care mostly about. Everything is cheaper. Very nice. Night goggles. Quit chance and range. Very nice. Lose a bit of defensive stats, but literally fix our range. This is money that we're going to definitely make back. Luck does damage, yes. More opponents, yes. Even more dodge, even more speed. I mean... I guess. I guess. We're going to be yoloing into our death anyway. I'm not going to be moving ever again. So let's also make the waves smaller. So we're going to say the wave multiplier is halved. And the spawn enemy multiplier is doubled. Here we go. That is, I think, the most fair. Still, the game maintains itself as is. And we just make the waves smaller. I think that's the, the best way of keeping the balance exactly like it is. In my opinion. So, yeah, let's see how this is going to go. Rainbow chest, let's go. What would I like to get from this next rainbow chest? I guess the anvil? I guess the logical thing to take would be the anvil. Or I could take the stomach. And stomach? 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 I don't remember what... I mean... Pronunciation, man. Stomach. Stomach. I don't know. When the word exists in Greek, it's always hard for me to do the English version. <laughs> so, yeah, there you have it. What is this? Range, luck, and speed at the end of each wave, but lose max HP. Not really. Gain crazy luck. No. Extra stomach. 10, 10, 10 max HP. I would say yes on that. And then region potion is next. Let's go with stomach. Scarab. When an enemy dead, <laughs> there's a chance to summon a scarab. I, I don't want pets. No. Skill. Gain one material and attack. Okay, I, I I just don't want scarabs. Let's go for armor. Yes, and more harvesting. Okay, la. This once again still gives us money, so I want this. Crit chance and range. Yes, I want both of them. More damage on leads. Yes. Luck against one elemental. I, I think it's worth it. Heal stuff again. Max HP and chance to explode when pick up. Three crit chance for three percent damage every four seconds. Apply electric thing. Yeah, might as well. And more poison application. Especially, the poison application is really good because we have the thing that says when opponents hit the max amount, they explode and take the poison amount. So, poison burst, you say that? It says poison sometimes and then poison burst. And it says poison burst very often. And that's because of what I just mentioned. Because we have a bunch of poison application. And because the poison caps at 5, I think I have plus 2 poison application pants. Give me a second here, I can double check. Poison application pants. Poison application pants. Uh, I'm sure for the pause. You know what? My memory... Oh, no, I have it once. No, that's poison efficiency. What did the poison application... You know what? Doesn't matter. I remember buying the poison application twice. I remember it's like a zigzaggy flag thing. I remember getting that twice. So that means right now... Uh, and the poison stacks up to five times, right? HP regen for every element. Let's go! 232 HP regen. Let's go. Let's take a knockback. Who cares? Roll them. Crit chance, what's my crit chance? 64, that's, that's my crit chance. Uh, elemental damage, lose max life, apply electric to burst, yes. Bunch of stats, lose dodge, yes. <laughs> Let's go with this. Elemental damage against max HP, yes. Luck, yes. None of the, what is this? On take, cure element. Lose all your melee damage, one, gain elemental. Lose all your range damage, minus nine, lose nine elemental. And then lose engineering, 
two, two, yeah, and gain elemental. This could have been so good if I had invested with all the rest. HP region, yes, roll him. Max HP and HP region, yes, roll him. My, I'm more opponents. Explosion damage. Damage? That was useless. Why would I go for damage? Elemental damage. When poisoned enemies dies, it will explode. Yes. Yes. The build is coming together, boys. The build is coming together. I want this. Free chance is good, but I want that. Let's go. So when they... Yeah, everything explodes pretty much, right? Because everything gets poisoned. So we have become extremely powerful. Extremely busted. And extremely awesome. I love it. I love it. I love it. Just like that, within three waves after the boss, we just broke everything. Three waves. And we're just getting hit for eight. Opponents don't even do remotely close to enough damage for us to be in any danger whatsoever. And we're still scaling health, by the way, right? From the stomach. If I'm lucky enough. Uh, yes on max HP and regen. Yes on luck. Mm, I'm gonna say for elemental. Yes, yes. Yes and no. <laughs> yes, 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 no. This is definitely not what we want. Yes on this and yes on that. Roll them. Yes and yes. <laughs> I love that so much. I love that healing thing so much. Opponents die on explosion. Ah, oh, might as well. 16 damage isn't that much. Yes on this. Yes on lure. Although lure doesn't work when you play with double the waves. So lure is literally not going to spawn anything. <laughs> it's it's a bit sad, but I, I could have made the wave last longer just to get the lure effect. But does it really matter that much? No. We still got the 3 HP region out of it. It's a bit sad how it's buggy like that. Dev of the rainbow mod. Maybe you should somehow make lure work on early. I don't know. I really don't know how you could fix that. I mean, it's definitely part of the coding of how lure is coded. So it is what it is. We still got five chests anyway. So each region, yes. Another lure within the lure. Lure within the lure is so good. This is useless for us. I mean, two max HP is not useless. We're going to buy two. One free reroll. Nice. Let's roll down to get the other thing I mentioned, regen potion. So now we're even elemental damage. Let's go. Yes on that. Bullets, but lose range. My range is decent. I, I don't want this. Let's go here. Do I not want this? Let's buy that. That's so much damage. 194 range damage. How? How did I get 130, 19? What? Where did I find this much? Doesn't matter though. Let's go here. Lose a bit of luck for even more defenses. Yes, another one of my most liked items. I like that the most between everything. I don't know why. When something is so simple. When electric trigger the thunder. Yes. Uh, I don't need pickup range. Let's go. When something is so simple. When, well, actually, when something says at the end of turn. I just love it already. And it's one armor and one harvesting. It's such a simple concept. But it's so cool. I want to do lightning build, by the way. Projectiles all around. Opponents aren't gonna be able to touch us again. Lure seems to be working. I might be wrong. I might be completely wrong about the lure thing. I did see a, a treasure goblin. Also, we got three chests. On the other hand, though, we already have two harps, 200 luck. So maybe three chests is very normal. Let's roll them down. Let's go for another one of those. What should I go for, though? I guess from here on out, I should... Uh, that's, I already have a grand sleeve. I guess... I, I guess I should take one lucky coin... But then, what I should, I just should pay potatoes. I'm just gonna buy just a bunch of potatoes. Ooh, if I lose speed, I could get crazy regen. No. Yes on that. Lose those. 15 luck. Lightning ring. Lose damage, but get lightning spread. I don't care about this. Healing totem. Yes, though. Definitely yes to it. It's not really that. My life does damage on points. Yes. And also chance to burn because I'm an elemental build. Definitely. I have a chance to burn and a chance to poison. When you apply poison or frozen enemy, convert ice poison. Reduce and heal. Yeah, let's take that. Whatever. Another baby with a beard. Yeah, I'm okay with two of them. Take that. Ring and armor. I don't care about that. Max HP against dodge. Yes on this. Yes on that. Roll them. Yes. Yes. Roll them. Garden. That's healing. If it ever... Actually, it's always gonna come to us because we have global pickup range. So that's literally free healing. The garden is literally free healing. And baby with a beard destroys everything. <laughs> as it always does. So we're going to be very busted for a long time now. For a long time. And I don't think shopping is even needed anymore. I think the time has come to decide that, you know what? This is going to be it. From here on out, this is the build. Let's see how deep we can dive without needing to change anything. So that is what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm sorry that my voice is changing right now a bit. I'm just going around and uh, chilling and vibing. What is this? Less damage, more HP regen. Elemental damage as well. I'm going to take this in case we find something that transforms stats. With them, percent attack speed. 
Demon contract. Lose 119 life to get... Yeah, we're gonna buy this. <laughs> Boom. Uh, 380 HP <laughs> I love the demon contract as an idea. I love it no more. I love it crazy much. Uh, I am actually going through the motions here of still... Let's buy this, whatever. Yes on that, yes on this. I mean, the rerolls are still extremely expensive, just to be clear. Oh, I can buy... Th this is such a risky play. I don't want to buy this and lose on the spot. Although with so much HP region, there is no chance we're going to lose on the spot. Let's see. Boom. And okay, we did not lose. Wow. 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 Did you see how fast we healed up to max? Man, that was fast. Man, that was fast. The healing speed and rainbow chest. Oof. Oof, we heal so fast. I guess I should just buy the... Um, from my rainbow chest. I think I should just buy the healing thing. Yeah, that really fits the character itself too. I think that's what we're gonna go with. And we're also not getting that much money, so the rerolls will always cost more and more. We're gonna go with the healing station from here on out, as that's the most appropriate fitting one. And it also is gonna take away from my luck, so I'm not gonna be able to full-on abuse it. Here it is, medkit. We're gonna start losing luck every time I take that. Let's get a bit of damage, why not? Luck, yes. Lose a bit of range, yes. Uh, gain the range back, with no downside. Harvesting on the one. Let's actually start pressing these buttons, this opponents. Uh, more luck and dodge, yes. Lose uh, these stats, which I just gained to lose them, but I also have range damage to lose here. I don't think this is worth... I mean, I'm gonna buy this and see. So right now I have elemental damage, 179, 193, so it was worth it. Roll them. I could have also bought the other thing that said plus and minus. None of these. Roll them away. Yes. Get 41 HP regen and lose 3d6. I mean, this is worth it by definition, so I'm gonna buy this. I will not take that. I mean, I don't have money. <laughs> I, I, I'm okay with the rerolls costing. I do enjoy how I have set up the shop. So inflation is not a thing, but the rerolls still cost a lot. That's exactly... Like, I do hate it when the shop... When when the item in the shop costs 600, I hate it. But when the reroll costs 300, I'm okay with it. I'm like... I, I, I believe that I should not be able to reroll infinite times. But at the same time, I believe that the shop should not cost a million, right? I, I do believe that the rerolls should scale. And I do believe that you should only be able to reroll like five times. But I don't believe you should, um, as I said, buy the items for a million coins. So it's more of a type of they should balance it better. Armor and speed, blue speed when hurt, create projectiles that deal damage based on the mental damage by this. <laughs> yes on this and yes on that. Peacock, let's go. The risky play. <laughs> risky peacock maneuver. Let's go here. What is another contract? Oh yeah, I'm buying all those contracts. I will be buying those contracts. Another one. I'm still okay with it. I'm still okay with it. Another one. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, 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 I just saw. I just realized. Every second I'm taking the one damage. So every second I'm throwing the spikes out. I love it. I love it. Every second we're straight up just doing a million things. So we got two healing totems and one DPS totem. I don't know how opponents are hoping to touch us. Now, they are they are definitely becoming more and more powerful. I think elites is... Wait a minute, where are the elite waves? Where, where, where were all the elite waves? I think we bugged them out, man. Or we destroyed them too fast. I don't think we destroyed them too fast, though. So pretty sure we bugged out the elite waves. I'm really going to speed, yes. Let's burn on one of those medkits. And more trees, yes. Let's go 8% damage. Was there no elite wave? I don't know. Uh, more elemental damage, yes. Heal more, yes. Roll him. More life, yes. Oh, I, I pressed the reroll button, by the way. Whoopsie! Well, it's okay. <laughs> Go with armor and dodge. What's happening? Yeah, I don't know how I pressed the wrong button, by the way. Armor, no, no. To that triangle part of definite. No, crit hits, deal more damage. Yes, yes, and yes. Medkit again. Let's go. Yes on that. Also, yes on this. More dodge and whatnot. Lure, definite, yes. And also, bunny is a definite, yes, but eh, whatever. I'm not going to lock for it. Let's see. I'm not gonna move. I'm not gonna move. If I die, I die. I'm not dying. We're not even losing life. We have 77% less damage taken. Nope, we have... 87% less damage taken. Wow. Wow. Opponents do nothing to us. Wow. Two legendary chests. Uh, three legendary chests. Legendary... Why, why did I get three legendary chests? I thought the elite does not give a legendary chest. Whatever. Three legendary chests, three normal chests, and two rainbow chests. And one level. <laughs> The level is like the little uh, cherry on top. So, Etsy's couch. No. I'm gonna say actually yes and start lowering my speed. And then explosion. No, definitely not. HP regen, less speed, yes. Attack speed, yes. Tonkela, yes. Electric spread and whatnot. 
I guess. And now we're gonna go down here and pick up a good old medkit, medkit. And more armor. And more healing and more pet power. And honestly, I don't even want to be shopping anymore. Like, I really... Oh, 12 elemental definitely, yes. And also healing from items. <laughs> Swift be like... I don't want to do this anymore. And then he just goes ahead and healing totem. Nice. Thunder Jade. Crit chance and damage. Every 4 seconds apply level electric. Might as well. We are also an electric build now because why not? Why not be an everything build? Man, the rerolls cost a lot. There are no elites. There are no elites. And I have made it so that elites are supposed to be... Number of elite world waves. I mean, dev told me minus one, but it didn't work. And I, I had it at three and it didn't work. So I don't know how minus one would work. Maybe if I go like main menu and then resume and nope, it's it's completely bugged out. I I don't know how you're supposed to do this. I mean, let's let's try again. So if I put three here, spawn rate three. No no no. Yeah, three times elite. No, nope, that's not it actually. This is three times elite. And I go back and then go into the main menu. We're gonna see it's it's buggy, man. It's buggy. It is what it is. That's how it's playing with mods. <laughs> Playing with mod life be like bugs everywhere. I think I'm gonna. <laughs> I think I would like to end the game at wave 40. I start taking back the idea of I should have played more. <laughs> I should have actually not have played more. I think from here on out I'm never gonna play endless again because it seems like a little bit after going into endless we start breaking the game completely. And if I break the game completely too much, then as you see with with 55 HP region, well, how exactly do you think I'm gonna die? There is like no chance we're gonna die. On our grind sleeve. <laughs> there is literally no chance we're gonna die. Like, none. Nada. Nothing at all. Rhapsodine's book. No. Here we go. Vigilant drink. Because the only way I'm gonna die is if I get hit for a 300 instantly. Even if I get hit for a 200, right? Even if I get hit for 200, my 50 HP region is gonna pop up to 100 because I get double HP region. So fr from, from 100 damage hit, I instantly heal 100 back. We heal a lot faster than even possible to get hit by twice and thrice. And we also have three healing totems. And we also have six weapons that, by the way, each single weapon, do you know how much it heals us for? Like, each single weapon heals us for crazy, crazy amounts. To be precise, 45. So, right now, right this moment, if anything tries to hit us... Who hits us? <laughs> who hits us? Sift and English, man. Sift and English. Is this actually worth it? I don't think it's worth it. Let's continue rolling on. This is worth it though. Start scanning stats. Potato. Yeah, so if anything hits us, every single wand that has a 0.5 attack speed, so every 0.5 seconds, I heal for 43 times 6. So that is 240 life every half a second from the wands. The healing totems heal us for by the way i'm just doing a big math on how much healing we have so right now because this is just insane these heal us for 35 we have three of these so this is uh a hundred the, the three totems heal us for 100 every time they do this wiggle move right whoops 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 this wiggle move which is almost every half a second so we heal 150 every half a second from the totems so that's 300 healing per second from the totems and then we also have uh five, six times 50 that's another 300 because they attack that's 600 health per second this is insane this is insane so let, let me just straight up take a breather here and tell you the actual math on the things that are happening right because there is actual math here we'll blood donation very nice uh none of these none of these yes 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 so we are healing 600 health per second from the wands because they heal us for 300, but they attack every half a second. So that's 600 from the wands. I'm healing 300 from the totems. They also heal us 150, but every half a second. And then I'm also healing 100 per second on low life from the HP region. Because we have the health potion, which doubles our HP region. So on average, on low life, I am healing 300, 600, and 100. That's 1,000. I'm healing 1,000 per second right now. 1,000 per second. And the thing is, between all these things... I, I should not increase... My range, by the way, my movement speed, I should reduce my movement speed. And the thing is, between all of these things I just mentioned, none of them are, only the wands and the totems are 
every specific second, right? Like you might say, yeah, but if the sync, if the second you get hit does not synchronize with the second you heal, you might die. Yeah, that is correct. But the hundred health per second from the healing per second happens every frame. So th this is like not actual per second. It's actually a frame number. So this is like very fast because if you go over HP region, it says one health every 0 0.02, and that is actually how you heal. So this happens instantly. And everything else also happens instantly. So I don't see us actually ever dying ever whatsoever. So I start believing that it was not a good idea to actually do what I am doing. These days. <laughs> I'm not sure I should be going on this. On the other hand, though, I do enjoy the madness of this whole thing. A thousand health per second is insane. And not only is it a thousand health per second, by the way, it's also how much do the points take? 2000 damage per second. 2000 times 100. So theoretically, we're doing 2 million damage. I mean, it doesn't really work like that, but uh, theoretically, theoretically, we're healing 2,000 damage per second. I mean, from the HP region, though, if, if we just straight up forget the rest of the part, right? From the HP region alone, we are healing, like, I don't know. Oh, not healing, dealing insane damage. Dealing damage is what I meant to say, because of how fast they fire. So every 0 0.02 seconds, right? Every 0 0.02 seconds from the HP region alone, we are healing literally not healing dealing damage i'm trying to see dealing damage 0.02 seconds so that means how many attacks per second that's uh 50 yeah that's 50 50 times 2000 right so that is 2000 50 times that's 10,000. no that's five times so a hundred thousand so we're doing a hundred thousand damage per second right now right now if i get hit if i get hit we do 10,000 damage, not 10,000, 100,000, 100,000 damage per second on everything on the screen. We're spreading it between everything on the screen. The moment I get hit, right, the moment, the second I get hit, we do all that amount of damage. Which is insane, by the way, which is completely insane. We're doing 2,000 damage every 0 0.2 seconds on everything. Now let's maybe try to get hit. Let's maybe try to run, try to run around and get hit, although I don't see that happening anytime soon. Also, we have a revive, by the way. Let's not forget that. So something ne we need to die twice, which is also not really possible. <laughs> Us dying twice is not a thing. Oh, no, my heal, my totems are dying. Oh no, <laughs> this is just just madness, straight up. Oh, oh, we are losing life though. We are losing life. Do you see opponents just nicking our life away a bit? I want to see what the boss are gonna do at level forty. Uh, let's maybe I should even stop taking these. Although, no, by, by getting more and more medkits, <laughs> by getting more and more medkits, I don't know why I got the range there, that was extremely stupid. By getting more and more medkits, we reduce our luck more and more, so I don't think anything's going to be able... I'm, I'm going to play this out until the end of the wave at the end of the day. And uh, I guess today's video is most likely going to be a bit late. We found two rainbow chests. Three rainbow chests. What? How? How much luck do I have? 300, okay. <laughs> okay, I was like, that's not possible. But no, it's actually very, very possible. <laughs> this is the, <laughs> the priest... The Priest of Death. Da -da 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 -da. Explosion, lightning. Oh, we got hit. Almost got hit, that is. I have too much dodge to guarantee get hit. Opponents are actually slowly surviving. My crazy, crazy damage is not gonna save us if we explode. Yes and no. I don't want pets. Crit chance, yes, why not? And let's take this, whatever. Garden, this, yes. The less armor, the less armor, the better. The better. None of these. Yes on that, yes on this. Da -da 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 -da. Was that... I don't know. Let's take this, so we have less armor. Because oh, generator, that's a lot of damage, which we're gonna lose if I start going negative in the speed, which is what I actually want to do. Which uh, I just lost there. There was a choice to get that. Yes on this. Yes on this. The less armor I have, the better. What's my crit chance? Harvesting more. Nice, nice, nice. I still always have harvesting, by the way, because we're slowly scanning that thing. Let's attack speed. No, let's, let's go on this and let's go. Let's go damage too. Let's see what this is. Oh, boss time. Let's see. Are they going to be able to? Look, look at our life. Look at our life. Look at our life and tell me if we're dying. Yeah, we're not dying. And on points are toast too. They're trying, but we're not dying. Hey, this survived a lot. Still alive. Okay, got him. We got so many legendaries and so many chests in general. Nice, nice, nice. So, op opponents are doing damage to us. It's a thing. We're, we're coming close to it. Are we gonna be able to get to wave 50? I think we are. I think we are able to get to wave 50. It's gonna happen. Attack speed and range, yes. Piercing, why not? Elemental damage and what? Uh, yes, elemental damage. What is this? Yes, I guess. Octopus once again, yes. What is this? Ice tube, three elemental damage. Weapons have a chance to freeze. Uh, yeah. 
Don I don't want this. Yes. <laughs> I really enjoyed that one out. 20% attack speed. Yeah, two elemental damage. Oh no. Oh, I, I actually don't want to increase my movement speed. Stop taking that. Shift. Stop taking that. Yes, on this. Limited four. I'm going to buy anything that is limited. That moving gives you armor and lose speed. Yes. Statue. Not really. Let's lose against that thing again. Let's try it. My elemental damage. 305. 317. Nice. Not to this. Yes to that. Not to that. Yes to this. Imagine if I die because I just got thing 12 elemental damage. Yes. Let's see. How, much, how fast we heal. Boom. Boom. Full. And just like that, I'm full life. We, we had like what? Three seconds to die. Maybe. It, it takes me about two seconds to go full life. From zero to full. It takes me two seconds. Although I have a thousand HP region, by the way. But it still takes me two seconds. Because, of course, we need to attack with the wands. We need the totems to heal us. We, we also have the healing turrets here. I mean, everything is part of the healing thing. So if something isn't actually happening, then obviously we're going to have this healing. I'm going to stop going through the shop now. Let's actually just go through the game faster. Buy both of these. I lied. No, I'm not going to lie. Let's buy also three of these. Uh, I did, did I lie at the end? Yeah, we're going to get more harvesting. Let's go. That's what I actually want. More harvesting. More harvesting. And also less movement speed is also something that I want. So I increase my HP's couch. Every, every time I reduce my movement speed, I gain HP region. Because right now the Etsy couch is giving us less HP region. So every single time I'm like, okay, time to do that. Every, yeah. Every time I'm trying to get less. Every time I get less movement speed, it fixes the negative downside of the positive movement speed we have. So that's nice. We don't even need to move it. I'm not going to move it. Let's get crit chance. Yes. Really okay with it. Was there a no move item again? I skipped it again. Whoopsie. Let's go here. Let's buy this because less movement speed and also these stats can get transformed. And this is also less movement speed. Well, let's go with another ghost. I do enjoy the whole idea of getting ghosts, man. This is attack speed, by the way. So we're going to buy that. Ghost, ghost. For life. The totems. The totems make the difference, man. And also, they heal pretty fast. Do you see how they go faster and faster on the hoop? Hoop, hoop. They always become faster and faster on how often they attack. I guess that's because of some kind of attack speed buff I have. I, I don't know what exactly is triggering that. They got the, My totem got hit for 139 damage right now. I have 500 life, by the way. So we we're pretty safe on getting bursted down. By right the way, 43. Let's go. My armor is not enough to keep us alive, by the way, in case something happens. Remove movement speed. Remove even more movement speed. Yes on this. Yes. Yes on the free rerolls. Less movement speed. Start scaling that. Whatever. Oh, I'm, I'm scaling luck through that. Ah, that's why my luck always goes up. Ah, I have 91% of this damage taken. Do you also scale armor, by the way? Is there anything that makes me scale armor? I don't think so, right? That fish does not give you armor, as far as I know. It gives you range, luck, and speed. No! Range, luck, and speed. I need to throw that away. I can I can sell items. Huh. I, I will sell the I will sell the fish because it gives us speed every turn. Which actually is a downside. It, it takes HP region away from us. That's so weird. <laughs> That's so weird that that happened. It's okay. In the same vein, I can also throw out the record fuels. So there's that, I guess. Yeah, let's throw out the fish. No chests have been found. Tesla Quill. Yes, more damage. Yes, less armor. No less luck. No more crits and whatnot. No to those. Yes on this. Yes on the ghost. I love the ghost. Yes on this. Yes on this. And yes on that. And let's throw away the fish because I don't want to increase my speed anymore. I do enjoy losing my life, but I don't want to get the speed anymore. So we're going to go all. Boom. They're gone. No longer refine. And we got a bit of HP region because... Look at this. Full, 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 full. Everything just exploded instantly. Instant destruction. Instant destruction. Let's go. I'm sure we're not fighting elites between waves. It's not like I'm really at fault once again. I'm not really the mod creator of these mods. I just have suggested them and they, the mods have their my names. But yeah, I guess sometimes I'm the one that is testing them because pretty much I'm the only one that is playing them and actually you know uploading footage therefore the devs see them and it's like oh <laughs> you know the dev the devs see my <laughs> view youtube videos and are like oh bugs whoopsie yes on these why, why do i buy more luck by the way i shouldn't really buy more luck not that it really matters i mean it doesn't matter because it gives us more and more 
uh, items that we get, which is good, but it takes more time too. Eh, whatever. It's gonna be like a one and a half hour video, man. The, the, the crazy, crazy monk over here is busted. Right now, I this this might be a late upload, by the way, time-wise. Uh, hello to everybody who's watching this later than normal, because I'm shooting this one hour before my normal upload schedule, because my scheduling has been destroyed. So uh, hopefully from tomorrow we're gonna be back on track with that. Bye bye everything again. Uh, you know what? Buy this and go. Go, go, go. Let's just go. The only item I actually care about is the one that says I lose life every second, which right now we're losing like three, but like this, we're like losing three, gaining three. We're either gaining three ones, or we're just straight up getting three. Depends on what happens first. Do I attack? Does the totem heal us? Or does the HP regen go fast enough? As you see, plus one, one, you see, plus three. And then plus two, plus two and plus one. Plus one and plus one. <laughs> like it. <laughs> 20 luck, not really. No. That was such a mistake. Stop doing that. Sift. Here, opponents move faster. I want the opponents to move faster. I want the opponents to move too fast. Too fast for a long ago. Here they go. Boom. They're zooming. They're zooming again. I think only bosses have a chance to do anything against us. Opponents are straight up not good enough to deal with us. We are too powerful. Maybe more opponents is the play. Yeah, if I include more opponents... Then, oh, we lost a big chunk there. Yeah, they, they think they're gonna be able to do anything, but... The thing is, the second I get hit, the whole screen dies. Woo! We're getting hit for big amounts. We're gonna get exploded. Anvil, let's go. No, there was an attack speed when I don't... <laughs> Actually, you know what? Main menu, yes. And then resume. Boom, here it is, buy it. <laughs> Simple as that. Buy this too, why not? Let's go. Let's go. Here we go, opponents are rushing in. We're even fighting baits, it seems. 49 seconds for the wave. 671 life. I really enjoy that the opponents are hitting us like for 100 plus. It's not gonna really matter. I really enjoy that we have also a lot of life to be able to tank it. Here we go. They're trying their best. They're trying their best. Everybody's trying their best to touch us. I can be close up. I don't think I need to be close up. I guess epilepsy warning. I guess epilepsy warning. I mean, I don't guess. I, I can see what's happening here on the screen. Bye bye explosions and the wind. Or armor just for safety. Healing to them. Let's go. Wave 3D. Let's see the bosses. Whoa! Whoa! You saw what happened, right? By the way, in case you thought, oh, what's some for one second you were at 100 and then healed and you got back up and then you died second time? Yeah, I had to revive. That's why that happened. <laughs> so we just died instantly two times in a row in case you didn't realize. We instantly explode twice and we even had 66 dodge. That's what happens, man. When opponents hit you for 200 damage, you're dead in three hits. I loved it though, regardless. What a nice run. It wasn't really that bad. Endless wasn't really that bad. I started being a, a whiny little... <clears throat> before the time was come. Like, I could have just went through. I don't know. I'm between I'm between ideas. I'm not sure if I want to go Endless or not. Like, it's, it's as if I wanted five more waves and not Endless. It's as if it would be nice if the game ended at wave 25, right? Because at wave 20 is literally about when the run is about to get off. Go off. And then at wave 25, you're at your peak. And then it just goes peak, 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 and that's just too much. And then at some point, you need to go to wave 50 to actually die. So there's that. By the way, did you see that wave 50, I had 91 or 92% damage reduction, and I get I destroyed 600 life, and I got deleted, okay? Realize this, realize this. I had 1,000 health per second, 600 max life, 91% damage reduction, and I died instantly. So, yeah, the, the game really does not allow you to go uh, after wave 50. And I'm even using mods, right? I'm even using busted mods. Imagine without busted mods. You cannot get to wave 50. I mean, you can if you get a god run and if you invest everything into damage. And maybe if you play with obliterators and you do like 100,000 damage per shot and you have 100% attack speed. Like, if you go the damage route, you can definitely survive wave 50. But if you go the tanking route, you're not. Like, you're not going to be able to survive unless you get like 98% damage reduction and I don't know how much healing, but you mainly need damage. You need to get rid of the opponents before they even touch you. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, etc. Helps out. And in a couple of days, a couple of days, weeks, I don't know. I'm, I'm waiting for my merchandise to arrive at me. So I do, uh, what is it called? A quality test. And then if I enjoy the quality of the merchandise, I'm going to start showcasing that to you guys. So if you want to buy merchandise, wink, wink. We are slowly starting about to open it. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching and see you guys around.